and uh, what's your views and of the opportunities here at Max the Mutt for students? I think for Max the for the students coming into Max the Mutt, there is a course. Uh, our core discipline of drawing and painting skills that they will learn, which is really second to none. I think with the people that we've got here, you, you will get rock solid training in all of the basic areas of what I refer to as drafting, mm -hmm. draftsmanship, uh, as well as the fine, finer points of painting. Yeah. But above and beyond that, I think there's a value in, how do I put this? When a student comes into the school, mm -hmm. they often come in through one particular area. Yeah. They're very, very into manga, or they're very, very into some funky indie comics, or they're very real mainstream people, or they're into the gaming and certain games that they follow with an absolute compulsion. Mm -hmm. And that's great. Yeah. But what separates our students from just people out there that are generally enjoying these things mm -hmm is that the students here are attracted to the art aspects of it. And that's why they end up in an art uh, school to begin mm -hmm. with. Because they have decided that it's not the characters or the storylines as much as it is the artwork that has pulled them in and they want to be part of that. They want to do that. Mm -hmm. And that's wonderful. But what I hope for them and what I think both myself and I know many of the other instructors will do is do our best to expand Mm -hmm. their, their understanding and of the history of what is out there and of all the wonderful range of amazing artwork that's out there. From my personal standpoint, I will give them a lot of background on the wonderful illustrators that were working from all oh, the early 1900s on up into the 1960s. Mm -hmm. That's a, a period that a lot of people don't know much about and there's so much beautiful artwork out there. Uh, and when students get exposed to that, many of them have really jumped in with a lot of relish and, and seen what the amazing styles and, and, and ideas that those people had. Mm -hmm. And I know that there's another one of our instructors here that will, I know will give them a, a wonderful background in the history of comics. Yeah. And will show them some amazing work and styles, again, of comic book artists from the past that mm -hmm. will open new possibilities for them. And I hope for the students that they come in and are open to that, are, are prepared to to take in, soak up new influences uh, to, to make them better artists and, and not just maintain that narrow focus on that one thing that, that brought them in. Of course, I expect, as I think for me, mm -hmm. the first love will be your last. Yeah, and that, that news that brought you in will always be near and dear to your heart. But there, that doesn't mean you can't take in influences um, and appreciate this broader range of work that exists out there. Mm -hmm. If you enjoy this video and would like to learn more about the programs at Max the Mutt, check out our website at www.maxthemutt.com or give us a call toll free at 1-877-486-MUTT, that's M-U-T-T, or if you're local to the Toronto area, give us a call at 416-703-6877.